five years ago, I was the guy that woke up at the crack of dawn, got out on the lake, and I fished till three and four o'clock, even though it was 100 degrees, drenched in sweat to catch 20 slabs. Now, I'm not saying that was a bad thing. That put my time on the water out there side scanning just to stay cool, you know, having the motor running and finding new areas. You know, I put in my time, so now I can go out there you know, put in, put the boat in at 6 a.m. right when the sun cracks and I'm hitting spot after spot after spot until I find an active school, putting my lemon in the boat and coming home around 10 or 11 o'clock before all the crazy people get out there. So if you're struggling this summer or it's too hot, now don't get me wrong, the older I get, the more I cannot stand the heat. You know, most of my audience are older than me. And I understand, you know, it, it's it's freaking hot out there. And there's no sense for you to be out there struggling. So in today's video, we're gonna hop on the computer, we're gonna pull up the maps, and I'm gonna show you exactly where to look for, you know, after it starts to get warm. That way you can have your motor running, you can get around, you can graph, side scan, 2D, whatever. If you've got live scope, it makes it 10 times easier. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you exactly where to find summertime crappy on your lake. So obviously the first thing you want to do is pull up crappymanjigs.com and order you some baits. I recommend right now the Little Minnow 1.5 inch, the Micro Minnow, uh, Crappy Man Green, Monkey Milk, and any other colors that you have confidence in. So crappymanjigs.com, click on whatever one you want, add it to your cart, hit checkout. Uh, if you're watching this video around Memorial Day, summer 30, at checkout will save you 30 percent off your order so after you order you some jigs we're going to get on google you want to get on google and you want to go to navionics navionics web app is what you want to google and hit navionics chart viewer now you can do this on your phone or your computer they have an app for your phone but they made it so you got to pay money to see the contour lines so pull it up it's probably going to be you know way out here Pick wherever you are out in the country. I'm in South Carolina. So we're gonna check out a lake in South Carolina to begin with. So any, 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 mo, let's go to Greenwood. So this is Lake Greenwood. And basically the way this lake sets up, you've got a river up here. Let's see what this river's called. If it's gonna give me a name, it probably isn't. But this river feeds into Lake Greenwood. Lake Greenwood gets real muddy and then it feeds into my home Lake Murray, which sucks sometimes. But for a summer time crappy, what are we looking at before we even touch a body of water? You know, we want to save time. We've, we've got to get out here, catch these fish, get home before it gets miserable. You know, it's not fun out there sweating to death. So we, we want to zoom in here and we want to find this river channel. This river channel starts right here at the buzzard's roof. That's a pretty good spot to fish from off the bank. And this river channel runs all the way up Lake Greenwood. Now, you want to pick where you want to fish. So if you want to fish up here towards the, the river, you know, you want to find that river channel up here. If you want to fish towards the dam, you're going to come down here and fish towards the dam. So we're going to go up the river because I like river fishing we're going to find this river channel and i good god that's a good one right there so we got this river channel coming up we've got a bridge right here let's see what bridge this is see navionics don't be telling you nothing no more but whatever bridge this is right here has got the river channel right in the middle of it 100 percent there's crappy on that bridge right there so basically what we're going to do we're going to follow this river channel and we're going to follow it up until it does something different. So, with this curve right here, that's something different. It's worth checking this dock right here, even though the dock's only in eight feet of water. But, we've got what I like to call, you know, a main lake point that comes out right here. All right, then you've got another flat over here in 26 feet. This would be an ideal place to look for a brush pile because of this river channel swing. Now these fish are gonna come up in this little cove right here, back in this, this still water. 
They're gonna spawn. They're gonna spawn on these docks right here. They're gonna follow it up. There are gonna be some brush piles through here, I'm pretty sure. And they're gonna stage all the way to their summer pattern. When they get out here to this deeper water, they're gonna pull up to this point. They're gonna feed. And then they're gonna pull back off, getting this river channel to cool off because there's gonna be more oxygen in that river channel. Summertime fishing, creek channels, river channels. Focus on those. So if we follow this river channel up to this bank right here, you see how <coughs> it makes kind of an S. But what this S does is it touches this bank. And when it touches that bank, these fish will pull to these docks during the hot part of the day. And then at night when that, cause I mean the crappie are gonna feed at night most of the time during the summer. They're gonna pull off these docks into this river channel feed. You've also got a flat right here that could have brush piles. But this channel swing, I can guarantee you this dock, this dock, and this dock is gonna have fish. And you also got a bridge up here, 100% has fish. That's the Highway 72 bridge, I guess. No idea. I don't fish Greenwood enough. I need to, because they have tournaments there. If I ever get a live scope again, we're gonna hit those tournaments. So let's back out. You know, I always do South Carolina, so uh, I'm just gonna pick a random state. Let's go Missouri, I guess. See what we got going on. Got the Harry, Harry Truman, Lake of the Ozarks. I mean, Lake of the Ozarks and all that. that that's where that other YouTuber is. Y'all got plenty of videos on that. Uh, Tennessee, maybe? Yeah, what, what is this? Fontana Lake. Let, let's check this lake out. This looks like a big river system. That's exactly what it is, just a big river system. Now, when you got a big river system like this, there's so many, you know, good areas that come through here. But we're going to we'll see how deep we got. That's 111. 124 feet deep in this river channel. Jeez. All right, so this is gonna be a very, very deep reservoir. We're gonna follow this river channel up, but we want something different. Got apparently a submerged bridge right here, but Navionics, you can't really tell if there's one there or not. What do we got here? Some more submerged bridge. I'm not seeing any docks on this lake, so it's gonna be a ledge fishing lake. 127 feet off that bank. All right, all right, all right. I don't, I don't know if this is right, but this is about the deepest lake I've ever seen. Here we go. We got some docks over here. Are those docks any special? You got a creek bed that runs through here, and you've got a pretty deep dock right here. So that's probably where I would start. If we keep following this river channel and come back here, we've got 43, 46 feet. I mean, obviously these fish are going to be suspended on this lake. Not exactly the best lake for me to pick, I guess. So uh, Lake Joe Cassie, well, we're back in South Carolina now. Uh, uh, let's go to Mississippi, I guess. Smith Lake. I'm not going to do Grenada because Grenada sets up a lot different than other lakes. But here, here's Grenada for reference. Grenada's going to set up pretty much, you know, all this blue means it's shallow water. And then you come out here and you want to look for this flooded timber. Flooded timber is going to be your hot spots on a lake that has a lot of flooded timber. So if we back out, a lot of people requested a lake in North Carolina last time I did something. Let's do, I mean we can do Norman I guess, Norman's a pretty popular lake. And see as soon as you zoom in on this lake, obviously here's your river channel. You know, you got your contours on both sides and it's a white line. And I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to follow this river channel until I see something different. This bend right here. See how this river channel makes an S. 
and it goes against this bank. 94 feet of water up here, all the way to 19, and there is a freaking marina right here. So this marina right here, 100%, has crappy on it. And if we keep following this river channel, we've got an island right here. I wouldn't focus on that island. So if we keep following this river channel, let's find another hot spot. It's brushing right here. 100% uh, 